My mornings are the same every day. I wake up around 7. I make and drink a coffee. I meditate for 10 minutes, straight. I pet my cat, she actually loves it. And then my favorite part, I sit in front of the screen. I'm Anthony, welcome in a day in my life. Good morning to me, I guess. Uh, so today uh, it's 11, I'm already late in my day, like usual. Uh, it took me a while to set up the camera and everything, but today it's a very exciting day. I set myself a challenge. It's been a while I haven't done that. Uh, my SaaS is growing quite rapidly. There's a lot of new users every day. Uh, around 400 agencies are using it to power their businesses every single day. So things are getting extremely serious. But what's, what's the challenge? That's actually a good question. There's nobody there. It's just a wall. I need friends. But anyway, mysasbrew.com lacks one feature, a feature that my users crave for many, many months. And I haven't built it, not because I'm mean to them or not because I don't have the skills. I do have the skills. <laughs> it's just because uh, it wasn't the right time. So today I'm bringing you with me coding this feature. I know a day in a life where the developer actually codes something crazy. <laughs> it might be a day in a half in my life. Actually, it took me a week, but more on that later. But who cares? Okay, come with me. Okay, so this is my app. So basically, this app allows you to create a subscription-based service. It means that your customers will subscribe for a monthly fees and they will get access to basically a common board and they will be able to assign you tasks. If they stop to pay, they lose access to the task system. So this product is really based around subscriptions, but also tasks. And one thing is missing. So let's just check out. You can uh, change the title, you can change the status, assign the task to somebody. You can add description very much like you will use Notion, uh, adding blah, blah, blah. You can add subtasks, comments, hello. And something is missing. Something that uh, is called custom properties, or if you prefer like custom fields. This is basically giving the ability to the users to add <laughs> custom fields to the task. And essentially, I don't know if you need tags, custom properties. If you need a due date, custom properties. If you need a date, well, for that, <laughs> I can really help you, man. Uh, that's used to find. Uh, what I've, I've read online once, so don't ask me for the source, but this is the internet, right? Uh, there is no source. but. Essentially, if someone spends time to customize something, the person will get attached to it. And it, it makes sense. If you crafted something, uh, you've crafted the perfect workflow, you'll, you'll think this is yours and you get attached to it. So I uh, hope this feature will not only be uh, a feature that my user love because they asked for it, but I hope this will be a feature that will make the product stickier for them. Okay, so now you know what uh, we need to build. Now we need a game plan. Okay, let's talk about the game plan for this feature. By the way, do you like my mic? It's it's a bit of an awkward setup, but I like maybe how it feels. Anyway, we need to find a way to store those properties into the database uh, because we want the users to create them, but maybe update them if they need. We need to find a way also to limit who creates all the properties. So for instance, you want anyone to use the properties uh, to assign them to a task, but you don't want anyone to create them. Maybe only the, the admin will be able to do that. So we need to think about that. You want to be able to add the title and the description to the properties, because like if this is your first time seeing the properties, you want to know like what the properties is about. Uh, you want to think about what type of type uh, can be the properties. So we'll go simple for now. Uh, I think it will be a date uh, referring to user, referring to um, a sizing. So for instance, the task is like Excel, not Excel, uh, SM, so short sizes to say like how big is the task. Then we'll think about maybe priorities uh, or what, what's the priority of this task. And what else can it be? Um, oh yes, and we want to make sure that a task can be, uh, sorry, a property can 
also be private. So this is something unique to this product. You want to be able to have properties that your customers don't see. So for instance, if you want to add um, an internal uh, deadline that your customers can cannot see, you'll be able to do it. I think that's it. So today will be all about making this backend works. If I can do some front end, that's magical. If I cannot, I will do it tomorrow. Let's start coding. Okay, so like usual, I've been extremely naive in terms of <laughs> in terms of like estimating my task. So this is a huge undertaking, and uh, I had to stop because uh, I forgot. I completely forgot. I had a call with your clients. I had to do my sales pitch, marketing, and stuff, which I'm shit at, honestly. But it seemed that it was a good uh, good fit for him, which is quite cool. I had a bug during the call uh, while, while I was demoing it. I fixed it straight away. Anyway, uh, so for these specific features, um, backend is done, all the data validation and everything, all my routes is done, which is amazing. Now I just have to focus on the front end. It's 7 p.m. <laughs> I'm late. My girlfriend finishes her work at 7, so actually right now. Um, I will try to spend the night with her, but coding at the same time, we'll see how it goes. But my focus will be now to finish the front end, which is probably the longest part, but I'm quite fast at it. I hope to finish by tomorrow morning so I can then just edit this video, test the feature, release the feature, and then start coding something else. I guess this is my life uh, over and over again. <laughs> okay, so let's start coding on this front end, shall we? Good morning. <laughs> so it's Saturday morning. I spent all the, the evening yesterday trying to think about what can be the best UX and UI for this specific feature of properties. And I just, I just noticed that Notion does something very similar. And I don't like Notion, but this specific UX kind of makes sense. So I think I will go towards something like that. So. There's multiple things to do, and I think I won't be able to finish that by today. Uh, this is extremely <laughs> unrealistic. So I will try to at least make the bulk of the UI and then try to release it for Monday. Tonight, I have to go out with my friends, and <laughs> I'm pretty sure tomorrow won't be like a good day of work. And uh, when, when you go out and you 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 go to bed super late uh, the day after. In general, my, my brain is fucked and I won't be able to do anything. So I'll try to do my best to finish that. But let me show you what I have in mind. This is exactly the state, actually, of the task system right now. Um, as you can see now, the properties are one under the others. So there's, for now, only status and assignee. And this is exactly what I want to change. So as you can see, this little add subtask but, uh, button, I will add the same thing with add properties just on top. And this will allow you to basically uh, create a new properties or add a new properties to the task. And this is what will give the flexibility to the system. So I will try to code as much as I can this morning. And when I get a basic structure of it, I will call it today. Um, okay, let's start to code yet again. <laughs> okay, it's been more than a week. <laughs> so uh, I haven't recorded this video because I simply procrastinated so much. And I have an update. I actually published the feature. It's actually done and my users love it. I just I just procrastinated so much, I have no, no excuse, like, please shame me in the comments and everything. But I'm really, really, really proud of all the features I ended up. Okay, have a look. 
So now there is this new UI at the top where you can see that this specific task doesn't have any property, but you can click on there, you can see the actual property that I already created. So let's say I want to add a due date. I click there and then um, this due date is empty. You can click on there and this is actually awesome. You can either click on the calendar to select or you can use English to select something. So let's say you want to say tomorrow, you can even like write like TMR and press enter and boom, it will select the date automat automatically. I love that. If you want to create a property, you can uh, click there, create a property, then you have this uh, little, uh, I think they'll call it a sheet. Um, then you can select a type, so let's say I want to create a priority and you can give a name, new priority, blah, blah, blah. You can either say, I don't want this to be seen by my subscribers. And the thing I'm super proud of is you can drag and drop to reorder properties there. I mean, the value of the property, or you can change the color of it. So now uh, if I go to a property that already exists, for instance, priority, as you can see, you have low, medium, and high, and you have a good design with a color. Um, I spent way too much time on that, like <laughs> way, way too much time, but it's now out. Uh, my users love it. I think it's time to call it uh, the end of the video. I'm not really proud of this video, to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm, there were so many different things to do, called re um, record the video, blah, blah, blah. I will try to get better at this, I promise. The next video will be about me doing marketing. So I hope you'll like it. I'm a bit scared about it, but there's a lot, lot of good uh, surprise coming with it. Okay, see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs> what, what a shit end. Uh.